How did you get started, or what was your first experience as an advocate? I was a foster child, and I had no one to fight for me. And so I had to fight for myself through many different issues through my life. Actually going to people first, my first time, was through my job. They mentioned about people first. And so I went to people first and I fell in love with people first. Nineteen fifty five. Um, I started as an advocate at the Sonoma Developmental Center. What keeps you motivated as an advocate? Seeing people struggle, like myself, and not only other people but myself. If I don't keep fighting from the things that I want in life then who's going to do it for me? No one is. Trying to keep more people to be more advocates for themselves. Being a good role model for them. Because I'm trying to be a good advocate for myself. So I can show them they can also be an advocate for them. And I do want to help and I do want to support other people who can't support themselves and can't, can't uh, advocate for themselves. What support do you get to help you in your work? Having um, a strong circle of support, as in your friends, your family, um, your representatives of your city, um, create relationships. They're there to support me if I need help. When I get stuck, they're always there for questions and willing to help me. But they're always wanting me to ask my peers that are there working with me first to help me through what I'm stuck on before asking my bosses at my work because that's the line of work we're in is asking our peers first and not go directly to our boss. Uh, no, no. I, I do it, I do it myself. When you hit a roadblock, what do you do? In the very beginning, like everybody, um, when I was starting to become an advocate, I did hit roadblocks and I didn't want to give up. But one thing that showed me not to was my inner, uh, my inner self was don't give up because you'll be able to show others on how to overcome the the, the diversity and the doubts and all the feelings that come with it. The Board of Supervisors. In the class, we tell them we're mandated reporters. There has been, I could, there has been a situation, it was hard where making a report <clears throat> and before making that report, trying to get the peer to talk to us about the situation that happened to her. She finally talked to us and told us what happened. So we were able to make the report with her. And that was really hard. What is the number one thing you would tell other advocates? Learn from your experiences and try to figure out different ways to adapt to different situations. It's our responsibility to bring these issues up. 
because if we don't if we don't bring them up, the public is not going to bring them up. The number one thing I would tell another advocate is that you have the power to keep advocates going strong. Mm -hmm. 